Like maybe he could have picked up more like fashion sense, you know? He's got this disgusting shirt on. So here we go, the 15 Minute Morning Show podcast. Today we're all in the studio. Yay! Yay! And we have oh, a guest. Look oh, at our guest. We have a special oh, guest, Greg T, the round headed frat yeah. boy. Oh, what's up, Yeah, hey! 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 just passing through. So, so, it, so I haven't been back in the studio for a while. Neither has Danielle, no? but, but, or Brody. No, me too. Well, no, so why today? Well, you had to talk in the microphone. Oh, sorry. Yeah, why, yeah. why are you <laughs> back today, too? Because it seems like we all chose the same day. Serendipitous. Well, I figured, you know, Monday. What's the word? Serendipitous. 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 So, like, Lee. you know, Monday, yeah. you're coming off a nice weekend, so who wants to go back to work, you know? So then I felt like, all right, you know, Tuesday, we'll, you know, go on in. And then probably by the end of the week, you know, who really wants to go to work on a Friday? So, you know, I'm only here, like, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we're done. <laughs> okay, so are you going to start coming in almost every week? I think maybe, unless I have a good tea time. I'm, I'm sure Froggy can understand that. <laughs> oh, totally. I get a tea. Tea time. Right. But right. I mean, I, I'm looking, I think maybe like a Wednesday is a good day. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, you know. You know what I find fascinating? <laughs> sure. Is that, you know, people who've been staying home, they, they're making their own hours. They're just mm. choosing it. They're like, I want to do this, a little bit of that. And, and that's right. fascinating. I like that, Greg T. Yeah. yeah. All right. you. Scary, don't forget you're on the camera too. No, other oh, other way. Oh, he's scary. The side of your head, no, no, other scary. that one. It's so no, funny. He still wears that one. That one. That one. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're scary. Scary. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. T just said you have on an ugly ass shirt. Again. And wait, he told us that's the best shirt he has. He put it on for us today. Yep. Special. His prettiest one. This is his favorite T-shirt. You <laughs> just said it's ugly. And it really is. And like, and you, you figured like during the pandemic, you know, people picked up like hobbies and things to do. Like maybe he could have picked up more like fashion sense. Wow. You know, he's got this disgusting shirt on. Come on. Dude, you yeah. left here. You guys still show us your sh- show us your shorts, Greg T. Let's Look see these shorts. shorts. <laughs> Take off your man purse. <laughs> Look, these are fashionable. <laughs> 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 paint the house. No, these are authentic. <laughs> oh Don't you dare not Costco pants. <laughs> Don't you dare. He's got Costco pants. Come on now. These are real. I made these myself. Oh, kettle black. It looks This is real caulking and paint. You put on a pair of shorts and a bird shit all over. <laughs> Somebody told me that these are so fashionable you Who? can buy them at Zara for Who? $40. I said, I'm going to sell them. Zara? They're so I'm fashionable. Hey, I'm sell them. Was, I it like a, was it a guy at the stoplight asking for money? Zara. Zara's great. All right, so we're all here. There's uh, Straight Nate, and there's Scary, and there's Gandhi, and Dave Brody's in the studio, and there's Garrett, of course, Greg to the Frat Boy, Best and three. Danielle. Hello. And uh, Scotty B. Hi. And uh, Froggy. <laughs> That's enough. We got enough people. In there. Why is Brody so far down? No one's gonna be able. Well, look, this is. I can't see. I don't have a screen on. <laughs> you know, speaking of Zara, I was talking to a friend. They work in fashion. Do you know, want to know how to calculate the cost of act, the actual cost of clothing? Yes. How? Move the decimal point one place. So if your shirt is twenty dollars, it's two. It's two dollars. Shut, Shut up! I shit Shut you up. not. Really? And then they said for places like Zara, move the decimal point and then divide it in two. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They work in fashion. Okay. They know these oh, things. Yeah. Yeah. So Greg T has four dollar jeans. Then. That's a rip off, man. That is a rip off. And hey. Scary has thirty dollar shirt on. <laughs> 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 this is Ted Baker, okay? Oh, oh Jesus. here we go. Drop it. I'm sorry if you dropped a name. Yeah. Who? Ted? This is Ted Baker. Hey, uh, so let's talk about a few things. First of all, it's great to be in the studio with everyone today, and and uh, it's it feels good. It's a different energy, and love it. I may come back again tomorrow. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Okay, oh, no, he's not, not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I was. He it, sounded like the Kool Aid Man coming through. Oh, yeah. 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 He, he, he runs did. like the Kool Aid Man too. He so. he Elvis, you, have to, pelvic thrust. you have to come in tomorrow. Scary's gonna wear his second favorite T-shirt tomorrow. Oh, oh the right. lobster pot. And it was one. in that exact <laughs> instant. <laughs> Elvis decided he's not coming in tomorrow. No, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm still on the fence. I don't know. I'll let you know, Danielle. If you, let if me you know. Let me know if we're coming back. Today on our show, I don't know if you're listening, but we played live audio as it was happening as uh, Blue Origin took off from uh, Van Horn, Texas at Outer Space with Jeff Bezos, his brother, and two incredibly great storied guests as well. And I just, I got emotional. I started crying because I don't know why. I'm still not sure if anyone can tell me why they think. Why do we cry when we see such magical 
magical things. I mean, for me, it felt so emotional just because I bet Wally Funk never thought she was actually going to be able to make it into space. And she practiced for it. She trained. She did everything that the men did. And then she was told, sorry, you have boobs and a vagina. You can't go into space. It's not for you. And then she got to do it. And that's just amazing on a historic flight of all things. Like, it's so cool. And I felt like I was in elementary school again. Remember when they used to wheel the TV in for the space shuttle launches? That's That's what it felt like today. Well, it was pretty amazing. And it was great having you on too, Froggy, because you, you've been studying this uh, and you knew what, what they were doing and you could uh, explain it to us. Watching and, it and just seeing like seeing it start to finish that quick was unbelievable. And then to watch them get out and hug their family members again, I'm like, so what did you do this morning? Well, I got up, I you know took the dogs out and did this. They went to space. It's like, yep. really? We haven't done shit today and they went to space. We really. All we did is sit here and make fun of Greg T. Hey. <laughs> Not to be a dick. Be a dick. But it looked like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It, it looked like the ambiguously gay duo car. But anyways, uh, I think you're the only person that may have experienced this. Do you remember the moon landing? The moon landing was how many years ago? 1969. I don't, I don't, no. I don't know. I was only... You know, I want to know what that felt like. You know, to watch something, you well, could stand on another... Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Greg T is here. He believes it never happened. Yes, I don't even think they can really tell you how it felt because it didn't happen. He's convinced it happened it didn't in a happen. studio somewhere. Right, yeah. So they're probably like, you know, tell him it was like soft and very powdery. And they're like, oh, it's very nice. A hundred percent. I've never changed. Yeah. Now, do you yeah. believe these people went to space why, today, why is that? How come you, you can't just form a, the possibility of it happening? Well... I, to be honest, I think that, honestly, if you do some research about what was going on at the time in America at during that 67 to 69, that, that area, and then think about it, the rush to get up there, uh, up to the moon, between Sputnik and uh, the United States was a big deal. And we had to get up there, and, you know, some historians will tell you, had we not planted that flag in that moon, we could have been into another depression here, uh, you know, in America. For real, it was a big deal. Look, there's a lot of research so, behind it. So you it. don't think America was good enough to have really done it? I think that they had to do it for a reason. I right, think they right. needed to make us feel like we were important again. Well, something to keep in mind, this happened on July 20th, 1969. Uh, that's today. today. That's today. Well, today's the day. Today's, today's the day. The day. Now, of see, the big fool. Wait, so, <laughs> do you believe that, that they went actually to space this morning, what we just watched? Do you believe that? Yo, that happened. Yeah, for okay. sure. That so, happened. Do you think that we've landed on the moon since? We just didn't do it at that time? I think we have gone back there now to do some research, but <laughs> I don't really think at the time. Okay, so it was just a fake. We wanted to be the first, but then we got really there sure. eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's, okay. you know. Is there a possibility it happened? I don't know. I, I I don't think so. I mean, I guess anything's a possible. But, okay. All right. You know, I mean, I just think that they lie to us. The government lies. They. They. Right. they, they, they so they, some they. somehow a whole TV studio, as yeah. you claim, yeah. 52 years, yeah. all those people, the producers, the NASA people, the astronauts, all those people for yeah. generations now, nobody said anything. Yes. They were all able to keep a secret. Yeah. No one on their deathbed came forward and said, it was fake, and That's then right. died. Nobody. Yeah. That's what Be- you believe, because as opposed have- to it really happening. Well, because think about this, Elvis, for real. We have so many more like whistleblowers these days. Social media is a big right. deal these days. And There's no forward. way to get around it. But back then, people were like, you know, hey, did you see that? And they're like, oh, my God, it happened. They believe oh. anything. So by that theory, the no Bible's proof. fake, too, then. I listen. The theories on my on the Bible. Forget don't, it. Oh, you don't don't get started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look, chicken. Look. Don't forget chicken. He doesn't believe there's a lot. You know, of I've been right about that now. You know. Yeah, we have, we're <laughs> running out of chickens. Well, anyway, so that's Greg T's uh, take. <laughs> mine, only, mine only. Mine only. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah it basically. No, there are the, uh, the fucked up people like you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. It's all fucked up. What are your thoughts on science and medicine? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not go Let's there. move on. Bro, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, it's good to have you in here. Yeah. You know, it was actually another anniversary of the day when you shit on the floor. I That's swear right to you. Can you actually yeah. show them the square? I can, can do use it again. It was no, all the square that had to be replaced. <laughs> That's where Greg T shit on the floor. Well, and the spray went so far, we had to replace actually four squares. Yeah. Yeah, Nate yeah. and I took up to that There's carpet. That yeah. Right. And Me and Garrett was screwdrivers. Yeah. Well, no, I, I'm be honest. I, I like the newer carpet color. Oh, well, Greg T, can, can you, you shit, shit all over the rug for us? I can do it right now. I can do it on oh command. <laughs> I'm very you know, you know what I realized? That day also, there's something else he did um, a few years ago. It was also National Nudity Day. That was the day he went down to the Breakfast Club yep. and uh, got naked in front of the Breakfast Club on air. They yep. still have not forgiven us for that. I went down there with him. Chelsea Handler will like never come back? 
You know, no. I, I have uh, pissed off a lot of celebrities. And, 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 you know, what was that frog? I went down there with T when he went to the Breakfast Club. And he got up on the counter. He Charlemagne got up on the countertop to get away from T because he was naked. <laughs> You remember what? the first time Charlie Puth came here? <laughs> did Greg T get naked for him too? Yes, he did. He was yeah. so excited. You know what? More people have seen your penis. I know it's historic. than not. You know, I'm telling you, you could take my penis off and you can bronze it. Yeah. People would still, you know, you put it in the, in the corner like on a shelf. We wouldn't need like, a lot of bronze. They wouldn't be able to see little, it. It looked like a peanut. Show. BTS didn't enjoy it though. No. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was a bad day. We're still working that out. No. Anyway, so uh, back to you know all of us in the studio again to get, uh, today together. It's 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 a it's a great feeling. It's it's good to be back in here, and we're going to do it more. Uh, it won't happen every day. No. It's not going to happen every day. Well, especially not with you, because you don't work here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just, wait a minute. You know, but you see how easy it is? We've been together so long that I feel like, even though I've only been gone for like a year and a half, it's like I can still be right in the, like I'm in it, you know? It's like you never learn, you don't you don't forget how to ride a bicycle. You could always go back home, right, Greg T? Who says? Who says? Oh, Dorothy. Who says you can Do you want to come back? Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. I thought no, you were a fan of Bon Jovi. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. There's no, no place like home, you dumbass. That's the same. Who says you can't? Go home. That was John Bon Jovi. Yeah, there you go. That's Do you want to come back, T? Who has a theory on the moon landing? <laughs> what's that, What's that, Frog? Do you want to come back, T? No. There, there, no, there's, there's, there's definite days that I miss you guys. I miss the zaniness. Monday, Tuesday, I'll speak Monday. for him. No, he doesn't want to come back. <laughs> but you know what? But I, I think... It was it was a it was almost like a perfect timing to uh, do something different, you know. As hard as it was, it was a it was a good good thing, you right? No, I don't know. Yeah, perfect timing. Or right. six years earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brody, that was a good thing to say. Like, okay. Wait, what, 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 what? I can't hear Froggy that way. I'm sorry. What Froggy? Brody, that was kind of a dick thing to say, but. Never mind. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's scary? How would Greg T have done his job here all during COVID? We never got to that point. I wouldn't. I don't know. He was already gone. I mean, what, what would he have done? We'd have done like stuff at home on, on camera. <laughs> well, here we are today, and we're doing it this way, and it's all good. We're all happy how it turned yes, out. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Have your daughters put some money on the floor for butt bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great idea. That would be great. Do you guys want to do a quick round of butt bucks? No. Yeah. yeah, Elvis, come yeah. on, I've never big seen daddy. We See, can't do that. I never we can, saw butt bucks ever. We cannot have a grown man in his bare right. ass and balls stand out. <laughs> and you know what else? We and can't get away with that anymore. And they're older now, so now they got the internet and they're watching it all the time. And now it's they crazy. have the internet. Oh my gosh. No the, way. You know no what way. popped up on my camera the other day when right. we Reggie's had penis. that we had that party at your house, Elvis, huh. and he he was naked the whole time. The whole time. party. The yeah. whole every picture the is teen. Everyone's clothed, but teen's naked the whole well, time. How about Elvis's wedding when he gave the heartfelt speech, buck naked with That's his dick out right next to me, and then. Stuck a lime in his ass. That was great. And then you try you try to make out with my husband in the bed I, I while do, I was doing the show. And we I have know. video of it. Yeah. I do like Alex. I, I do what well, what were you doing Alex, on the honeymoon with them? That was weird. Well, that I was really the, weird. You know, He's been Elvis, naked on your pool table. I miss <laughs> Elvis all the time. Wherever he goes, I want to be there with him. I wanna, I'm going to go home with him now after this. Uh, I'm going great T's defense, though, he never had sex where you're sitting, Elvis. I have this picture oh, on my oh, phone. All right. Time's up. Time's up. Right, Frog? With that said, we got to get out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun. Well, Bye, thanks for Katie. sitting in today, Greg yeah, T. Good to see I'll you. miss you guys tomorrow again. You know what? They say you can go back home. So go back home. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. We'll Bye, see Katie. you guys uh, tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks Bye. for listening to our podcast. We're watching as well.